My name is Jordan Morris, and for a time, I worked for the busiest Toys R Us in the world during the 80s. There was a lot of crazy energy in that place, especially through the Christmas season. It was difficult to describe how wild it got in there. The warehouse was kind of around three sides of the floor space, and then on the back were the loading docks, and we were running as fast as we could to unload the trucks. And the aisles in the, uh, the storeroom were filling in with boxes that we couldn't get to, but the trucks kept coming. So I can, be, I can remember being on the truck with a pallet jack, pumping up a skid and trying to pull it off and hearing the rattle of another diesel truck pulling into the next bay. And all the aisles in the warehouse were full and we were running along the tops of these pallets of toys to get where we needed to, to pull something else out or pull a bike down or whatever it was. We had to run along the tops of them to get to places and even like lean over if it was down near the floor to get it. It was absolutely craziness. I had worked at Toys R Us for long enough that people started to get to know me, and I cannot explain why, but I would wear a name tag like all employees were supposed to, but I wouldn't use my real name. So for everybody that came into our local Toys R Us that wanted to talk to me, they would go to the front desk and they'd ask for Elvis, because that's the name that I put on my, my name tag. And I, I can't explain why they let me get away with it either. And little old ladies or whomever it was would come to the front desk and say, is Elvis working today? I need help. And it was one of my favorite experiences, and it would happen quite regularly, especially uh, through Christmas. They would come in with the list that was written by, by the kid, little boy, little girl, and they had no idea what they were reading. Oftentimes it was written by the kid, so it wasn't even in proper English. They were just written phonetically sometimes. And it would be all the names of their favorite characters or toy lines, and it was my job to decipher what the heck that meant. And in one case in particular, someone that I actually knew came in, and she handed me the list and said, you know, help me out. And I walked her through the entire store and I picked out everything and explained to her what each piece was. And I filled a shopping cart for her with everything on that list. And it wasn't until afterwards that I heard that she didn't want everything, but she didn't have the heart to tell me that she couldn't afford to buy all, but she bought all of that stuff and my friend's family had the best Christmas in the world. You spent so much time in that space that you got to know the nicknames that kids would call certain things and the mispronunciations and all that stuff. So deciphering those wish lists were really fun for me. So I, I took a lot of pride in that too.